Yes. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. We are going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to our regularly scheduled meeting of the Train Travel and Tourism Committee. I'm Councilwoman Tracy Park, Chair of our committee. Before we call the roll, I want to share some brief thoughts and my excitement about our committee's expanded portfolio as we unfold economic development into our everyday work here in trade, travel, and tourism. In January, I shared that sustaining our economic recovery while uplifting workers and businesses that drive trade, travel, and tourism would be a top priority for me. Uh, with this committee's broader scope, we can double down on that work even further for Angelinos across all sectors of our local economy. That means uplifting workforce development, expanding contractor opportunities so that minority and women owned small businesses can have a seat at the table, creating economic development opportunities for minorities and business communities all over the city of Los Angeles, and ensuring that Angelinos can earn dignified wages that result in household stability and security. I also want to thank our city partners for their support, their knowledge and assistance as we've navigated this transition. Our chief legislative analyst, our, our city administrative officer, the economic and workforce development department, city tourism department, the Port of Los Angeles, Los Angeles World Airports, the city attorney and our city clerk. It takes a team to keep this committee moving and with all of uh, the support and the help that we have, even with our expanded portfolio, we could not ask for a better team for this committee. So I look forward to the many productive conversations ahead because we have a lot on our horizon in this committee. So with that, we will get into today's agenda. Uh, Mr. Clark, if you would, please call the roll. Councilmember Park. Budget. Councilmember McOsker. Here. Councilmember Soto Martinez. Here. Three members and a quorum, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. So that brings us to public comment. Uh, members of the public wishing to give public comment can sign up at the kiosk in the back. You will be given one minute for general public comment and up to two minutes for multiple items. So with that, we will go ahead and start public comment. The first name in the queue, Donald Harlan. Come on up, please. Mr. Holland, if you could let us know what items you're speaking on today. Hey, I'd like to speak on agenda items uh, 14, 15, 17, uh, and a general comment. All right, you have three minutes. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Donald Harlan. Uh, I'm concerned about the travel, a travel and tourism committee because it seems that uh, a lot of planning commission or planning stuff's coming out of here. I don't know why. There would be uh, so much connection between the tourism committee and then the illegal Los Angeles Corporation Development Fund. Uh, but uh, you guys don't need to be uh, developing the tourism industry here. There's a lot of crime and homelessness and uh, corruption in the government. It's not really a safe city anymore, and I don't really want to encourage tourism uh, just so you guys could build hotels. Um, and uh, as far as number 14, uh, I would recommend that you guys not sell tax stoats for foreign investments. Uh, that's how you guys get in debt. You find out the money's not real, and all of a sudden you have to pay everything. Uh, number 15, uh, Sequa doesn't own any of those properties. I don't know why somebody gave you guys the notion that some coastal commission that's in charge of monitoring the clean air is going to give you the rights to develop real estate. It's just not going to work. Uh, I'm along the coast, too. Uh, uh, number 17, uh, yeah, the railroads have a priority over the illegal developments next to my tracks. Somebody's complaining over there about the noise. 
find out which house it is and check if they own the property. Just as simple as that. You guys know how to do that, right? Uh, I was concerned a little bit about the vetting for some of the contracts and some of the people you're hiring. Uh, if they're from a foreign development fund like London or something, they don't need $6 trillion in real estate. Okay, thank you, Mr. Harlan. Yes. Oh, you have one more minute, actually, for general Oh, oh, oh thank you. That's very nice. Yeah, uh, I, was, I was continuing to explain to you guys that uh, there's a uh, certain country, a lot of countries in the world don't believe in corporal punishment for financial crimes. And that you've left, you left us real vulnerable here in Los Angeles with your dealings. You're not even hiding it. You're just bringing it out in the open. Um, there's nobody in London with $6 trillion that could ever pay anything like that. Uh, uh, just so you know, the Rothschilds have collected $6.4 trillion for me since 2003. That's 20 years. Uh, so, uh, you know, they try anything to get from paying, saving the money, something else is not, you know. Nobody from London has that kind of money. Uh, they shouldn't be over here developing real estate. You can never sell or develop enough real estate to pay for any of that shit you think you're going to pay. Mr. It's Carlin. too much. It's not, it's off, you're off. Our next speaker is uh, Mr. Herman, if you're present. All items and non-agenda public comment, Mommy, please. Uh, three minutes, go ahead. So in discussion for the report on the planning off of the Figaro Corridor, I hate to say this on <clears throat> record, but it's horrible knowing that current Price DeMille had two wives and he's going to serve some time behind bars. And we still have no representations for us black people like myself. If you look at me, I'm dark as you, mommy. What Part, item are you on? Uh, I'm talking about item one, mommy, the, the, the Figaro corridor. Don't you know what a corridor is? Stick to the items, please. Yes, I am. I'm on item. Just like on item 17 where the choo-choo, choo trains run feasibly but not through a study because you heard Mr. Harlan say, you niggers are doing dirty business and it's not healthy in our neighborhoods for Miss Hugo to be in the market program because she needs to go on a diet. You know, fat people need to go on a diet when we're Are talking we about, I'm, the topic. mommy, I'm talking about healthy neighborhood market program to dickhead council district 15 that of Owoski and that jackass price. That's number 16. I am on topic. I'm not fucking around. I'm speaking my mind. And mommy, if you can't take the shit, just sit there and watch me. Yeah. And then we got Kevin DeLion on two, three, eight, and nine, and CD 14. I demand his white ass be heard on the commissions and committees. Return Kevin DeLion back to the committees and the commission and that fucking plum so that dumb Uncle Tom You're fucking awesome. Sambo nigger understand that. Yeah, that was two and three, eight and nine, mommy, for the record. Now my general public comment. In regards to case number CV12-07261, Michael Hunt versus the city of Los Angeles under DSF slash SHX, Herman versus LA, for the record, fuck you, Steve Soboroff, you fucking Nazi. The violations of my complete deal with the First Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, and the Fourteenth Amendment, goddamn attorney. This is non agenda public comment. I'm talking about feasibilities in our, in our argument today because I got the floor and I'm talking about the reports. And when the reports deal with feasibility, yeah, put the goddamn mic on. Stay I, on topic, speaker. Physical impact of my statement, dumbass, jackass, moron, 
is that the attorney, for the record, should imply that I am speaking of non-agenda public comments. On topic with what the committee Fuck hears. you. All right, you're done, Mr. Herman. Uh, would I turn you on my doctor's You signed the up under the name <laughs> Greenspan. See you there, but and if you could let me know which items yes. you're speaking to, please. Mike Greenspan, all items, and then I'll take general public comment. Let's go to the items first. You have three minutes. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to go jump to 17 because about the railroad. I grew up in a town where the railroad always blocked traffic, and one of the state legislators said. It's just a $25 fine, i.e. the cost of doing business. They finally did something they've been talking about doing for over a decade. They built a grade separation. A grade separation's wonderful. Yes, it costs the taxpayers money, but the traffic moves, it goes over the trains, it doesn't matter how long the trains are, it does not impede traffic. I had to, to get that one off my chest because I've grown up and put up with a lot of traffic jams. Now. Let's look at other things. Healthy neighborhood, um, 16. With all the people being as fat as they are, are we kidding ourselves? Let's, let's, let's look at reality. With all the fatty foods we have, show me the healthy neighborhood. Show me one of them. Okay, now let's talk about these uh, corridors. Um, one of them I had to I dog-eared. That was the downtown center, number eight. You ever see what's going on? They, businesses are leaving uh, for lease. That's what the, the biggest sign in LA, in the downtown especially, for lease. They're moving. They're going to Texas, Arizona, Nevada, Georgia, Florida. And it's anywhere but California. So pass all these laws that make it cumbersome. And guess what? They'll vote with their feet, just like they do in communist countries. They don't want to stick around there. So you're really just, you know, whistling Dixie because there's nothing to be doing in these districts where there are no tenants at the store. Now, my public comment. Karen Bass, airport mayor, question mark. Let me say from the start, she is no Maynard Jackson Jr. who built the Atlanta airport. If they name a price gouge concession area after Mayor Bass, she should take it and run. The airport continues to build through mayoral administrations. However, it is in the middle of Nimbyville, not in my backyard. That will be the response of the community in Tracy Park Places District 11. They will reject the faster flights of the future circa 2035 in the form of the supersonic transports, the SST. That's fine the flights will land in Phoenix, Dallas, and Atlanta. LAX will go down in stature. It will become the slow jet airport. After all, I know your neighbors are not going to want faster flights. They'll say, oh, it makes too much noise. Nimbyville. Thank you very much. Um, Wayne G. Puppet, you're up next. Puppet, which items would you like to speak on today? Go ahead. Which ones? <laughs> oh, all the fucking items. In general public comment. <laughs> Got three minutes. Yes. Yeah, don't interrupt me there, city attorney, you fake ass. <laughs> so now we get to the my favorite item, number 16. As I always sing my theme, fresh fruits and vegetables for a hearty meal. Yes, I'm always promoting good nutrition. <laughs> now, you look at District 15, and you look at Timmy, who we call Pat McOsker, <laughs> and look at him drinking that crap that he's drinking there. <laughs> Unhealthy. Should be drinking a bottle of water, like Hugo's doing in his bottle there right now, and a recyclable bottle, by the way. <laughs> and, of course, what are we fighting? We're fighting morbid obesity. 
<laughs> Especially in CD1. Well, we have Kim Jong Il Hernandez sitting there and going yum, 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 24 hours a day. Yum, 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 yum. It's time to pad all of the refrigerators. So I want to make a friendly amendment. Pad all refrigerators from midnight to 6 a.m. for anybody who might be morbidly obese. Can I have a second on that friendly amendment? Thank you, sir. Yes. <laughs> and then we have a railroad. Quiet feasibility study. <laughs> what, are you fucking kidding me? The train is supposed to make noise. <laughs> that means that you have to get out of the way when you're parked on there. On the, on the traffic, on the railroad tracks. You know, when the people in the community, because these trains only go through the poor communities, as they go and they smoke their crack and park on the railroad <laughs> and fall asleep, we need noisier trains to keep these homeless cocksuckers away from the train so they stop breaking in there and stealing all of our goodies for Christmas. <laughs> And now we get to the travel trade general public comment. Now, as you know, poor Tracy, you stood in the way and you allowed the violators downstairs to take away my th four minutes of public comment while speaking on the telephone. And here we have a taken person only. How come this city attorney criminal over here does not have a hybrid meeting for this committee and other committees? <laughs> How come, sir? <laughs> well, because it's an artifice of fraud to defraud people of their First Amendment rights. That's right. In other words, you're doing the same thing that Donald J. Trump and those 33 stupid fucking fat asshole Republicans did. You're conspiring to violate civil rights, like the nice pretty black lady in Atlanta said. She's right about what she said. The problem is don't indict Trump now. Indict Paul Martin Krakori, and he's the bad one. <laughs> All right. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much. Yes. yes. Can I speak any more? Anyone now? else present in the room that would like to be heard? Nope. Okay. Then that concludes public comment. Uh, unless there is any objection from my colleagues, I would like to move items one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 14, 15, and 16 on consent. Any objections? Not by me. Okay, Mr. Clerk, if you would, please call the roll. Park? Yes. McGosker? Yes. Soto Martinez? Yes. Three ayes and those items have been approved. Great, thank you so much. That brings us to item number 12. Mr. Clerk, if you would, please read the item. Item number 12, City Administrative Officer Report relative to authorizing the preparation and submission of the grant application for the Promoting Resilient Operations for Transformative, Efficient, and Cost-Saving Transportation Protect Program Grant. Thank you, Mr. Clark. I believe we have Jennifer from the CAO's office here to share a technical amendment on this item. Thank you so much for coming forward. And if you could read that amendment for us, please. Sure, no problem. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Jennifer Lau with the CAO office. Uh, regarding the council report file number 23-0824, we have a technical amendment for the uh, recommendation number one. Right now, I'm going to read the uh, uh, technical amendment. Authorize the general manager of the Los Angeles World Airport, Lawa, or Destiny, to prepare and submit a grant application for the proposal outlined in the attachment and that's the amendment thank you thank you um, i would move that we approve item 12 as amended mr clerk if you would please call the roll park yes mcgosker yes soto martinez yes three eyes and the item has been approved as amended thank you very much that brings us to item number three mr clerk uh, sorry number 13 mr clerk if you would please read that item for us Item 13, City Administrative Officer Report relative to authorizing the preparation and submission of the grant application for the Regional Technology and Innovation Hubs Grant Program. Okay, great. I think we have another technical amendment. It must be Susie. Thank That's you correct. Here. If you could read that amendment for us. Thank you, Councilwoman. Uh, Susie rios Belmont with the CAO's office, and this is very similar to the previous recommendation. 
amendment. Uh, so it is to amend recommendation number one to read, authorize the general manager of the Economic and Workforce Development Department and or their designees to prepare the grant application for the proposal outlined below and apply for the grant program. Thanks. Recommendation two remains the same. Thank you. Um, I, I'd like to move that we approve item 13 as amended. Mr. Clark, if you would please call the roll. Park? Yes. McOsker? Yes. Soto Martinez? Yes. Three ayes and the item has been approved as amended. Fantastic. We are moving right along. This brings us to item 17, our final item on the agenda today. Mr. Clark, if you would please read the item for us. Item 17, motion McOsker Park relative to a railroad crossing related quiet zone feasibility study throughout the entirety of Council District 15. All right, thank you, Mr. Clark. I believe that Council Member McOsker has a few words he'd like to say. Yes, thank you very much. So this item uh, is um, uh, actually relates to something that is in our budget and within the current fiscal year budget, we have the um, opportunity uh, to fund a study uh, along the McFarland lane uh, line uh, for quiet zones. And what quiet zones do is uh, it, it creates the opportunity for us to uh, bring a number of protective measures that many of us are familiar with, um, where you know gates come down and there are, are ways to prevent pedestrians and vehicles to cross uh, train tracks. And where those are in place, then the federal rules uh, do not require the trains to blast the, lo the three Longhorns in neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And so what we have particularly along that line in Wilmington is because we do not have quiet zones in Wilmington and we have trains coming and going as they must from the port, uh, we have a number of long blasts in residential neighborhoods 24 hours a day whenever the trains operate. And so what we have is funding uh, to do the study and what we're asking in this motion uh, is that we also prioritize those intersections that could be uh, that could have the implementation of quiet zone, you know, technology improvements, infrastructure. Um, uh, and I'm hoping and expecting that we're going to see. And folks in my my Wilmington neighborhood will know that Lackme and Dolores is an important uh, intersection that needs to be looked at. Uh, Abroad and Bond and Avalon and Bond are what I think are the likeliest candidates uh, for, to get the implementation of these quiet zones first. What's really good about this study is that this is also something that we can hopefully use citywide uh, to make sure that we have a model for implementing these um, quiet zone uh, um, infrastructure pieces because I do realize that across the city there are trains uh, that go through, especially through residential neighborhoods and close to sensitive things like schools. So. I would ask for your I vote. I thank you very much for giving me a chance to talk about it a little bit. This is really just the first step that we will have the study and then we'll have a priority of zones, a priority of intersections that would be covered uh, should we go first. And we're also asking in this motion for uh, staff to identify funding sources, which exist out there, maybe even in this audience, uh, for paying for uh, the quiet zones in and around the harbor and uh, throughout the Wilmington neighborhood. Thank you. Well, thank you, Council Member McCosker. I, I would just like to add that as the representative of LAX mm -hmm. and the immediately impacted adjacent neighborhoods, I understand how difficult it can be to balance trade and commerce with the needs of our local residents. Uh, it may be a difficult needle to thread at times, but I do think that with community engagement and a committed effort to mitigate measures where we can. This is important. Mm -hmm. I think that you are setting an example for the rest of the city. I look forward to supporting you on this. Thank you very much. Um, well said. Unless there are any comments from Council Member Soto Martinez, then I would move that we approve the item 17. Yeah, just very briefly. I, I'm, I'm glad to hear you're doing this. Uh, you know, I grew up three blocks from the train and I could still hear the train three <laughs> blocks away. Uh, and going to school, crossing the 103rd and right next to Alameda, mm -hmm. you know, Jordan Bulldog. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy you're doing this for the community, and I hope they appreciate the work and leadership you're taking on this. Thank you very much. Excellent. Well, I would move that we approve item 17. Mr. Clark, if you would, please call the roll. Park. Yes. McOsker. Yes. Soto Martinez. Yes. Three ayes on the motion has been approved. Great. Mr. Clark, is there anything else currently before this committee? The desk is clear. Great. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you all.